Hello, I'm B. Millsabub, and welcome to my channel. Today, I actually have to offer a correction to something I said in last month's criticisms of the Catholic Church about abortion. Last month, I made a claim that the Catholic Church has doctrine regarding the death penalty that contradicts what Catechism 2270 says. And just as a reminder, Catechism 2270 says, Human life must be respected and protected absolutely from the moment of conception. From the first moment of his existence, a human being must be recognized as having the rights of a person, among which is the inviolable right of every innocent being to life. Considering how rarely the Catholic Church amends the Catechism, and with the copy I own having been published in April of 1995, and received as a gift from a former friend in the mid-2000s, I think my being mistaken is quite understandable. But in my research for this video, I searched online at the Vatican website for the catechisms I use, so you can all have access to the same resources I use, so that you can come to your own conclusions by doing your own research. So what I'll do now is read the out-of-date version of Catechism 2267 so you can understand the thought process I had when I made my previous criticisms video. Assuming that the guilty party's identity and responsibility have been fully determined, the traditional teaching of the Church does not exclude recourse to the death penalty if this is the only possible way of effectively defending human lives against the unjust aggressor. As you can see, this would back up my claim that the Catechism contradicts itself on what it itself calls the inviolable right to life. However, as I previously stated, this Catechism is out of date from May 2018, just last year. So let's take a look at the revised version of Catechism 2267, shall we? Recourse to the death penalty on the part of a legitimate authority following a fair trial was long considered an appropriate response to the gravity of certain crimes and an acceptable, albeit extreme, means of safeguarding the common good. Today, however, there is an increasing awareness that the dignity of the person is not lost even after the commission of very serious crimes. In addition, a new understanding has emerged of the significance of penal sanctions imposed by the state. Lastly, more effective systems of detention have been developed which ensure the due protection of citizens, but, at the same time, do not definitively deprive the guilty of redemption. Consequently, the Church teaches in the light of the Gospel that the death penalty is inadmissible because it is an attack on the inviolability and dignity of the person, and she works with determination for its abolition worldwide. So it would seem that the Catholic Church has taken a stride in the right direction to change its doctrine to promote the abolition of capital punishment. Actually, given the bloody history of the Catholic Church, this is a huge step in the right direction. And if you want a small taste of how bloody that history is, give my Why I Go After the Catholic Church video a watch. You can find the link in the description down below. So while I do stand behind everything I said about abortion in my last criticisms video, I do think it's important to make this correction. My integrity is important to me, and the last thing I want to be to my viewers is dishonest. The trust I've built with you all means everything to me, and I'd like this correction to be proof of just that. Hopefully, you can understand that my intent was not to mislead or lie to you. However, I do note that this revision of Catechism 2267 seems to only regard crimes such as murder or treason, for example. Crimes that can earn the death penalty in secular societies. Completely ignoring most of the crimes that the Bible commands the death penalty for. 
heinous crimes such as adultery, homosexuality, blasphemy, and apostasy. I think the Catholic Church is looking at its own history through rose-tinted glasses. Once again, my video, Why I Go After the Catholic Church, will give you a view into exactly what it is I'm talking about. Like I said, yes, this is a huge step in the right direction. However, the history of the church cannot be forgotten. But that'll do it for this one. Hopefully me posting this correction shows you my goodwill and desire to be as accurate as possible. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, linked below, to keep up with all my comings and goings, and join my Discord for a chance to talk to yours truly. Take it easy, everyone, and I will see you all in the next one.